Sumatran tigers are among the most endangered tigers in the world, probably with as few as 350 left in the wild. We've been very successful with our breeding program. We have a total of 13 tigers. Hunter! Yeah, he can Good boy. You. Come on. And Hunter is one of the most special and unique. Good boy. You come to the top of the grandstand. Hunter is nearly five years of age now. I was lucky enough to be here since he was born. His mother, Caitlin, the father of Ramelon, know him very, very well. He knows us very well. And uh, yeah, a great cat. He's awesome. Hey. Hunter really enjoys our company and he's very tactile. G'day. I think that basically comes down to his lack of eyesight. <laughs> One of the, the vocalisations the tigers make is called a Proustan, or we affectionately call it a chuff. And that noise sounds a little bit sort of <laughs> like that. And that sound is actually them uh, greeting us when they're saying hello, when they're, when they're happy or affectionate. Uh, it's important for handlers to chuff back to the cats when they chuff to us, and that helps, I guess, bridge that gap and maintain the strong relationship that we have with them. <laughs> Good boy. Today is a very special day at Australia Zoo because Hunter is getting his annual eye checkup. A rare degenerative disease took his sight. His eyes now are totally fake. This annual check is really the only chance we've got to have a close look at his eyes and just make sure we're monitoring for any changes or if there's any issues we need to be concerned about. It's really in Hunter's best interest that he's relaxed and that he's comfortable, so we're going to be sedating him, knocking him out, to allow the veterinary staff to have a close look at his eyes. You don't want him waking up, put it that way. So um, once we get him on leash, we'll bring him in. I think okay. we'll let him wander around, have a smell for a minute or two. Sure. Uh, we'll just use milk, like we've been yep. doing with him. I'll... Um... So if you have him here... <clears throat> Yeah, I'll bring him up here with the milk. I'll get you on the outside, might okay. be the go. Um, if I stand about here. I think so. If you can inject him from here. Yep. Um, I'll go for the uh, the rump area. Yep. Once he once he's down, we'll uh, we'll cuff him. Yep. <laughs> oh, you're chuffing you're at him. You're chuffing at him. Come on, in here. At the end of the day, he's still a wild animal. He has all of his teeth and all of his claws. He's got all of his instincts. They're not tame or domesticated, no matter how long they've been in captivity. Okay, syringe. That's the one. Don't you have this All right, out? so how many meals have we got now? Two meals. Two same, meals. exact same amount as usual. Looks like a lot, but okay. you'll be fine. Good luck. Hey, Hunter, what's this? Milk? Are you ready, buddy? Bring him around. What's this? What's this? Milk? Good boy. Good boy. Okay, you ready? Tell me when. Okay. Done. Good boy, yeah, buddy. Done. Good boy. Within a few minutes, he'll start to feel a bit drowsy, and then he'll obviously be unconscious. Good boy. Good boy. Anytime you're dealing with a tiger, obviously there are certain risks involved. Nice and easy, nice and easy. Nice. With him being blind, you find that uh, that can compound. You know, he can get a bit nervous because he can't actually see things if he hears things. Hunter. Good boy. The biggest risk is while he's going down that he might regurgitate or vomit. And of course, if he's still a little bit light, we can't really intervene. With Hunter, we want to make sure that his eyes are physically healthy and happy and comfortable. Even though he can't see, he still needs to be comfortable. Pop him up here. Do you want him to go forward a bit or happy? Yeah, more? maybe just forward a little bit. Yep. So he's a bit warm. Okay, so we'll just get him re-stabilised now that we've got him into the surgery. We just need to make sure that his anaesthetic depth is good. We're getting his IV line hooked back up again. We'll start doing a temperature and a heart rate and then we'll be able to do his exam. It's nice that we don't have to do this very often. For the most part, simple vet checks can be done hands-on without sedating him. But for something as intricate as checking his prosthetic eyes, it's important to have him completely sedated. Pauline's our specialist veterinary ophthalmologist who comes and does lots of work with us. So, does lots of species and today she's looking at the tiger. Uh, we will need to turn the lights out for the procedure, won't we? So, we'll go ahead and do that now. Pauline's just doing what's called a Schirmer tear test, so it's measuring tear production. Just making sure that he's got adequate lubrication naturally in his eyes. So, his production's always been a bit low, yeah. so... 
he will need to keep on the, the lubricating drops. Yep. So Pauline's just using a magnifying glass to have a really close look at the eye and see how the prostheses are seated and just make sure that they're looking like they're not causing any irritation or discomfort. It looks intact and, yep. and happy. Great. So we might try and have a look at the other yes. side. Looks good. OK. So that eye looks good the, as well? That eye's fine, as, yep. as good as it was last year. OK, last fantastic. Time. I think if there's been no deterioration and he's maintaining well, we'd probably yeah. keep, just keep going just as keep is. It, yeah. and the outcome for his eyes was, was positive. I'm very happy to hear that there's been no major changes. What we're doing, the veterinary staff and specialists want us just to continue. And uh, as far as they can see, he's a really healthy individual. Well, we'll keep a really close yeah. eye on those and uh, we'll see yeah. you again in 12 okay. months. OK, good on you. Thank Great. you. Great. Thank you. Yeah. So, I did yeah. like that. We'll keep a close eye on it. <laughs> Well, it's been two days now since we did the general anaesthetic with Hunter. He woke up no problems at all. He's basically back to his normal self. Not even knowing that he, uh, he went down to the hospital to get his eyes checked, I guess. Hunter, target. Good boy. Very happy to say that uh, the whole process was very successful. We found that the eyes were fairly healthy. Target. So for us, we'll just keep monitoring it and Good then uh, have another checkup in 12 months' time. What do you think, buddy? Uh, Are you going to make a mess of this? It's so special that Jeff's able to have a relationship with his tigers. And this includes an element of trust between himself and these beautiful animals. He's someone who doesn't take it for granted, and he loves each and every tiger very much. Oh, boy. What do you reckon? <laughs> Go, buddy. I hope that Hunter has a, a long, healthy life with us here at the zoo. I know I'll be doing everything I can to ensure that happens. It's just there, buddy. Go and have a look. Okay. That's a good, good boy. boy. The other staff we have working here, the other handlers, feel exactly the same way. <laughs> That's right. I just want him to, um, to enjoy his life with us. Oh. 